Good day, my brothers and sisters. My name is Evangelist Elijah Odushino of Christ Glory Ministry. Today is going to be a wonderful day. I bring you the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today's uh, topic is going to be the law is my righteousness. Let's start with the book of Romans chapter 1 verse 17. The Bible says, For in the gospel, the righteousness of God is revealed. The righteousness that is by faith from first to last. Just as it is written, the righteous will live by faith. Praise God. My brothers and sisters, we are living in the end time where there is a lot of deception, a lot of things that are going on out there. It's very, very important for us to live by faith. It's very, very important for us to follow God with all our heart, all our soul, all our mind, and all our strength. Do not be deceived about the kind of man. Do not be deceived about the way of man. Instead, focus on Jesus. Focus on Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. And it will be well with you. You will be protected. Your family will be protected. But God loves you. And He wants you to love Him too. You know, you must have a relationship with your maker. It's very, very important, my brothers and sisters. For the gospel, for in the gospel, the righteousness of God is revealed. Everything that you have to know about God is in the Bible. His righteousness, His love. I mean, He cares about us. He wants to show us exactly what to do. So, but we have to be in the gospel. We have to be in the word of God to know the heart of God. To know exactly what God wants to do. He said, righteousness that is by faith. From first to last. We must always believe in God. Our faith must always be strong in the Lord. We cannot quit. We cannot give up. We cannot do anything else but to just trust in God and have faith in Him. I mean, you look around, you see a lot of things are not working. You can't pay your children's school fees. You can't pay your rent. The, the creditors are all over you. But you can't look at what is going on around you? All you need to do is to put your hope in God. Live by faith. They say the faith that is from first to last. Just as it is written, the righteous must live by faith. My brothers and sisters, you must live by faith. You must know that God is in charge. You must know that your destiny is in the hand of God. God said, I have you in the palm of my hand. You must believe the word of God. That God loves you and he cares for you. Don't try to do it by yourself. If you do it by yourself, God will leave you and say you are doing it by yourself. But believe in God. God will never leave you. He is always there. He made you in his image and in his likeness. And he cares for you. Just like the way God delivered Joseph from Egypt. He will also deliver you in the mighty name of Jesus. All you need to do is to trust him. Joseph trusted in the Lord. He loved God. Right from the beginning, even before his brother sold him to the slavery. And all, with all the things that he went through, he never gave up on God. He always believed in God. And he always loved God and always knew that God is there. And what happened at the end of everything? God came through and rescued him. And put it on top of everybody. And God will do the same thing for you today. If you only believe and know that God cares for you. If you know that God is the one who made this earth, he put us here, he will never leave us nor forsake us. But we can't turn to worthless things. We can't turn to the way of the world. We have to continue to believe in our God and to have hope in him. And everything will be well in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's go to the book of 1 John chapter 5 verse 13. The Bible says, I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, so that you may know that you have eternal life. Praise God. God loves us. He wants to give us eternal life. You know? So many people just walk around today. They don't even know which way to go. A lot of young people are like that. You know, young people don't really know what is going on. But when you are growing, you must know exactly what is going on. Don't be like young people that just live the way they want to live. You have to grow up and know exactly what to do. And believe in God. And turn from sin 
and always have eternal life in your mind. Always know that your days are numbered on this earth, that very soon you will be leaving this earth. Nobody is going to be here forever. David said, our days are 70 years old. If our strength endure, we will reach 80. God has set a time for us to be on this earth. And after that, we will face the judgment and God will give to everybody according to what they have done. So my brothers and sisters, always have eternal life in your mind and your heart. And do all you need to do to please God. Because you can say, okay, I still have time, I still have time. But believe me, one day you wake up and everything is over already. You know, try to please God. Love Him. Do His will. Know what God wants you to do. Be close to God. And God will show you what He wants you to do for Him. And so that you can be part of what He's doing. So that at the end of the day, when you get to heaven, angels will welcome you and God will tell you to come into the, your, the kingdom of your Father, you faithful servant. You know, it's very, very important, my brothers and sisters, for you to reach souls, reach people, tell people about God. You know, don't just sleep and wake up and eat. You know, man, Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes out of God. We are here to serve God. We are here to do His will. We are here to know His purpose, to know exactly why we are here, so that we can follow God and be part of what He's doing. Praise God. And God can bless us with eternal life where there will be no more death, no more sorrow, no more pain, no more worrying, no more harassment from demons, where you be with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob with all the angels, praising God, worshiping God, giving Him glory and serving Him, and praising, just worshiping, man. It's going to be beautiful and lovely. We don't want to miss that. Praise God. Let's go to the book of 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 3. It said, His divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life through our knowledge of Him who called us by His own glory and goodness. Praise God. His divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life through our knowledge of Him. When you know God, God will give you power to live a victorious life. When you know God, God will give you power to be successful in everything you do. You know, you have control over your destiny. You have control over your future. Because you love God, because you know Him, He will give you divine power to take control of your situation. You'll be able to, He will help you to number your days. You will not waste your resources, you know. No calamity will come around you because God has given you a divine power to take control of the situation. He said His divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life. True and knowledge of Him who called us by His own glory and goodness. God has called us to be out of darkness and to come into the light of, of life. So that we can be the light of this world. So that we can be the salt of this world. God is trying to reconcile back mankind back to himself. He said to Abraham, Abraham, out of your seed, the whole world will be blessed. The whole world will know God through your seed. People are not in relationship with God. But God always has a plan to reconcile ma mankind back to himself. And he started our plan with Abraham, and our Lord Jesus Christ came after that, and now he has gone back. We are here, and we are the ones that he said, out of your seed, the whole earth will be blessed. We are the ones that are left now. We are the seed of Abraham, and we are the ones that the people will see, and they see the glory of God, my brothers and sisters. Let us live in power of God. Let us live in wisdom of God. Let us live in knowledge of God, acknowledging the Lord among the people, living for God so that God can, people can know God. There's a lot of people out there that don't know God. There's a lot of people out there that, that need God. You know, God set us apart in this earth. We are chosen to do the will of God. We are chosen so that people can see us. They can see Jesus. If they don't, if, now we are the one that God set apart. To bring us the good news of the kingdom of God to the people of this world. We can, lead, we can 
Uh, we can't live like the people of the world. We have to live the way God wants us to live so that when they see us, they will glorify our Father who is in heaven. So that they can have eternal life too. They can be saved. God can save their soul. He can redeem them. He can show them peace and joy and let them have good relationship with our Father. So that at the end of the day, we all have the cause to glorify the Almighty God, the maker of heaven and earth. Praise God. Let's go to the book of 2 Samuel, chapter 7, verse 22. The Bible says, How great are you, sovereign Lord? There is no one like you, and there is no God but you, as we have heard with our own ears. Praise God. There is no one like God. There is no God like God. All the other gods are idols, but our God is a living God. The God who opened the Red Sea and passed the Israelites through it, who bring water from the rock. He's our God, and He is the Almighty God, the maker of heaven and earth. The whole world is the work of His hand, and He ride on a cloud. And he's coming back with glory and power, with all the holy angels in him. Let all mankind worship God. Let them give him glory. Let them serve him. For he is good, and his mercy endures forever. God loves us so much that he has given us everything. Let us make music to the Lord. Make music and temporary and lutes. And praise God and worship him. For God is good. Shout for joy in his presence. And tell him how much you love him. For God is great. He's a great God and an awesome God. How great are you, sovereign Lord? There is no one like you. There is no one like God. No one can save us like God. No one can keep us like God. He has kept us safe, even not for God. We don't even know what the enemy will do to us by now. He has not allowed no one to oppress us. He has not allowed the devil to oppress us. He has not allowed the enemy to oppress us. He has kept us safe under his wing. Those who rest under the, uh, under the shelter of the Almighty will rest under the shadow of the Most High. Will rest under the shadow of the Most High. No evil will come around us. No calamity will touch us. No calamity will touch our, touch our children. No calamity will touch our ministry. No calamity will touch our job. No calamity, calamity will touch our education. Because God Himself is our rock. He is our shield. He is our strong tower. We have nothing to be afraid of. We will live in peace. And nothing will be able to touch us and do us no harm in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us continue to give God glory, continue to serve Him, continue to tell the people about God. Don't keep quiet, don't keep silent. The Bible said, Anyone who acknowledges me in the presence of others, I will also acknowledge in the presence of my Father and all the holy angels. Acknowledge Jesus, and Jesus will acknowledge you to the angels of God. And your life will never be the same, my brothers and sisters. You must believe the word of God. Don't just listen to the word of God and pass by, my brothers and sisters. The Bible says anyone who looks at this word and does not believe, it's like a man who looks at himself in a mirror and quickly go away and forget what it looks like. Always pay attention to the word of God, for this is what you are destined for. This is what you need. You don't need anything out there. You don't need the word of the world. You don't need music. You don't need movies. They are all man-made. This is the word of your maker. This is the word of the creator. This is what you need. This is what you are destined for. This is what God will use in helping you. This is what God will use in leading you. This is the good news that you need. Learn how to obey the word of God. Learn how to study the word of God. Learn how to know it. Be familiar with what you are destined for. So that God can give you your own inheritance. God can protect you. He can keep you safe. He can love you and, and just show you love and, and shower you with blessings. And you will never remain the same in the mighty name of Jesus. 1 Thessalonians 5, chapter 16 to 18. The Bible says, Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Praise God. Rejoice always, my brothers and sisters. Give thanks to God always because everything has been done. You know what? When you're working with God, don't always look for your own will. Don't always say things must happen exactly the, one you, the way you want it to happen. No. Always pay attention to God and always go for the will of God. 
Let God lead you. Let Him direct you. Let the will of God be done in your life. Anything that God did not give you, do not take it. Beware of your environment. Beware of your circumstances. And let God be the one I will choose for you. In the process of your waiting for the Lord, rejoice always. Pray continually. Give thanks to God always. Give thanks to Him. Thank Him. He loves you. And He will never let you down. When you are working with God, God is in control of your life. He's in control of your situation. He's in control of your destiny. He will get you there. He will never miss it. But you, on your own side, you must learn how to live in His presence. You must learn how to worship in His presence. You must learn how to obey Him. Humble yourself under the mighty man of God and He will lift you up at the proper time. God never forget about you. He never forget about your situation. He cares for you. But you must know that God has a plan. You don't have the plan, the master plan. God has the master plan in His hand. He is your father. He puts you on this earth. Rejoice always in his presence. Pray continually. Even though you're praying, you're not getting the answer. Continue to pray. Why are you not getting the answer? Because it is not the set time. Bible said, Lord, you arise and show mercy to Zion and favor her because the appointed time has come. When the appointed time comes, God will arise and show you mercy. He will show you favor. Because the set time has come. Always depend on God. Always put your hope in God. He loves you. He cares for you. He put you on this earth. He never forget about you. Trust in Him. Trust in His power. He has the power. Look around you. If God has the power to create this world, He has the power to take care of your situation. Don't worry. Don't worry about nothing. Jesus said, how many of you by worry can increase your height? You cannot change anything by worrying. You can only change things by believing the power of God. Put your hope in God. David said to my, he said, my soul, why are you downcast? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him again, my Lord and my Savior. Always give glory to God in, your, in any, any situation that you find yourself. Because it's in charge, it's in control of your life. Your worrying is not going to change anything. Your doubt is not going to change anything. All you need to do is have faith in God. Have faith in the one who put you on this earth. Have faith in the one who made you in his image. God made you in his image and his likeness. He cares for you. But he have a plan. The master plan is, is with him. You must obey him. You must follow him. Don't worry. God will never allow you to have more than what you can bear. He knows what he's doing. Anything that you're going through right now, is for you to, to, to train you, to make you stronger, to make you wiser. God is always there for you. He will never give you more than what you can bear. So anything that you're going through right now, rejoice and thank God. For God has a better plan for you. And the plan will surely come through in the mighty name of Jesus. You are secure. God loves you. Keep on loving God. Keep on showing Him that you love Him. Any any trap that the enemy has set up to, to, to put you in a bondage today is cancelled in the mighty name of Jesus. You are set free. Your life will never be the same. God will transform your life. He will make you a better person. He will make you a glorious person. You will soar wings like eagle. Young men may run and, and faint, but you, you will never faint. You will soar and fly like eagle because you love God, because God is your strength. He loves you. Don't worry about what anybody do to you today. Forgive anybody that offend you. Forgive so that your father and neighbor can forgive you. Love one another. Love your brothers and sisters. Love your neighbor and love other people. People that don't love you, love them. If you have, give to the poor. Help the people, those who are in need. Help those who are in need. God will help you. The Bible says God will never forget the good things that you do for his people. He will never forget anything good thing that you do. You see. The eye of the Lord go to and fro of this earth, looking to show himself mightily to those that love him. He will never forget any good thing that you do. Believe that God loves you and he sees everything that you do. Always do right. Always be good. Don't do evil. Flee fornication. Flee adultery. Flee the way of the world. 
Resist the devil, he will flee from you. Come near to God, he will come near to you. When you come near to God, he will help you. He will give you a glorious life, he will give you a secure destiny, your life will never be the same. Because you love God, he will keep you safe. He will deliver you from the evil one. Thank you, my brothers and sisters. Today has been a wonderful day. I love you, and God loves you more. Keep on believing in God. Keep on having faith in God. And you will live a glorious life on this earth. Your life will never be the same. You will be protected. Your destiny will never be the same. God will transform your life, and you will be a sign and symbol for the Lord in the land of the living. Thank you, my brothers and sisters. Bye for now.